Smile pretty, Johnny. You know, Johnny, this this was supposed to be finished by now. I mean, I mean... Why didn't you finish it? Well, you know, Steven spent like five, five months on this thing. Five months? <laughs> I could do that. Oh. No, we can't have that. Look at this uh, Zach sign. Uh, this, there's an interesting story. The man had this in his garage. Garage. Garage, yes. And what happened is we, he came in our showroom and he purchased an Asteroids. Wait, Asteroids is a good game. I was talking about you. Oh, thank you very much. You know, <laughs> you might get your cheeks reddened, little lady. Good luck with that. <laughs> Let me know how it works out for you. You're bleeding on the ground. <laughs> anyway, you, you can actually see how my, my boy here is putting on the team molding. It was my decision to put gold on. Why are you so great? I think the gold looks rather nice. It's a great pill. Yes, it is. Could you get that phone and see who that is, please? Anyway, that's you. Oh, somebody got it? Who else got it? Oh, okay. Walter's good. Walter is good, okay. Anyway, uh, the customer was so pleased with how the asteroids turned out, he said, please take my Zaxxon back and, and pretty it up. Now, uh, we repainted the side art, Stephen did. Uh, he also recreated some of the brown. Uh, if you saw some of our earlier videos, this was actually all knocked out. It's been rebondoed, and then Stephen tried to recreate as best as possible the uh, look of the contact paper, I guess you could call it. I think he did a pretty good job. What do you think, Scott? <sighs> what a great response. <laughs> I mean, the nod of your head, I mean, <laughs> Did it? It probably must have been extraordinarily uh, like tiring. To, <laughs> you're supposed to be lively for our videos, young man. Lively. Oh, I see. We're he's getting casters on that game. He, he's the. <laughs> needs his knee oh, look! Look, I look at that. Show how beautiful they are. He restriped this machine. That's right. Sadly, the original stripings were so awful. But the boy has redone them beautifully. Boy! Anyway. Well, let's get this game on and then we'll finish the video. Okay, go ahead, start. Look. <laughs> Beautiful picture. Joystick. See? I always like that. Little red light, red, red LED. First game, I think, that had the LED on the handle. And you can also push the buttons here to make it work. We have four new buttons. Then we have a free play button. We did not have that on the game when we got it. New fluorescent light. Back, oh, back here, to, um, Tony. We have the monitor's been rebuilt. We have uh, new capacitors. We also disconnected that lovely fan that goes and runs and then sucks all the air in. I think I mentioned what video did we do this in? We did this uh, video. We mentioned that fan. Gosh, it's women. It works. Do you hear that fan? It's the fan. Let me show you something. I, this this machine we just yeah, brought this in for a repair. But this back here, you should take the fan out and give it the old tosseroo. It does not need a fan to suck in all the crummy, dirty air inside. Well, the board works. So I'm going to fold it in. Yes, you yeah, bolt it all together. The game so it works. Put it back together for us. Anyway. Looks very nice, doesn't it? I think the guy did a nice job. Uh, man, uh, had uh, he said he always loved playing this game. Uh, I remember when these were brand new. I paid three thousand and four dollars for this machine. That was what the price was when I bought it back, brand new. I only bought one new one. And the problem with the game is uh, it was the first 3D graphics, but it was so heavy to move. But it did make money. It made money when I first had it. But I never paid my machine off. I, I don't think I ever made enough. 
I always like the way you can fire at the things coming out. Get your fuel tanks and then out in the air. Just you in this space. And you have the little crosshairs when it was in view. Some people felt that they had better control with a button here. They could just fire at a faster. Very nice game. And they made this in a cabaret, a smaller one. Uh, they also uh, made a uh, 24 version. They, um, they also made a Super Zaxxon too, which was just too hard a game. They put a new power supply inside, and this logic board was bad, so this game had some issues. But an overhaul is a good option for you if you don't want to deal with the machine yourself. And that runs anywhere from 450 to 850. It depends on the game and what's wrong with it or whether it's been sitting in water. That can never, that's never a good thing. Anyway, we have a, oh, we've got a Donkey Kong coming. I'm going to have that ready for you to see tonight. And a gauntlet. Let's see how the progress is tonight. And what do you want? I just wanted to thank you. Let me use your showroom today. Ah, ben has been shooting a final project. A film festival project. And I hope I'm the star of it. I don't have a wide angle lens. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> now, this is just, this is, look. You know, you and I. <laughs> did you see? He, he's well, I work behind the pat. scenes. He's got it down pat. He's rolling. See? He's got it down. See, he's been watching my videos and he's learned a lot, hasn't he? Anyway, that video better be good, young man. Well, for the 40 grand I spend in this place a year. That's right. And you better be spending another 40. That 40 is history. <laughs> and where's your pinball? I don't have room for it. Well, I think he's smart. I see that they're overpriced. <gasps> oh! I think he's going to go to... <laughs> I meant... Yes. I'm going to have to bloop that out, you know. Yeah, I <laughs> Double the prices. Anyway. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Now get out!